Okay, so let's continue from where we left off. Um, we tested the homepage URL. As you can see from last time, it's the past still. Again, because I'm doing screen recording, I um, it's somehow disconnecting my my server. Like it's not connecting to my server. So let's try it again. Hopefully, it passes the system. No, I don't think it passed. Oh, it did. Awesome. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm going to run a test. <clears throat> the test that I'm going to run is I want to click this button, and I want it to take me to the page. Oh, no, no. I want to click the this logo, and I want it to give me the home page. You see? That obviously works, but let's confirm it works. Let's use our virtual browser, the Chromium virtual browser, to, to do that. Clicking logo gets home page. Okay, the sync away. My favorite is synchronous method. Okay, away page dot click. What am I clicking? We're about to find out in a second. Once I get that click stuff, get the URL of the page away. Because if away, mm, and then once it gets the URL, assert that that the URL equals the home page URL. The home page URL is right here, by the way. Okay, so let's what are we clicking? Let's see the select uh, the select one. So let me inspect this. You can visit this site if you want to do this test on this site at wisping.com. I, I, this is an, a web app that I made. So it's, it's a hallway pass, basically. It makes the life of schools easy. All right, so let's inspect this. Yeah, a bunch of warnings. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really interested about this warnings right now. So let's see. This is it right here. What is this? Is this is this element? Because look at it right there. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get that element. We can do that by doing this. A tag. What is the class name? The class name is logo CSS. Logo CSS. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna take that element over here. I'm gonna take that. That's what I wanna click. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna paste it over here. So let's run the test. Let's clear this again. Crossing my fingers it runs because of the because of the screen recording, it might it might take longer to run. So Chromium is is um boosting up. Yes, we passed both tests. This is awesome. This is super awesome. Okay, <clears throat> let's do another easy one. So if I if I click this contact us page it should take you to customer support right where you where you can where you can contact us all right so let us <clears throat> let's do that let's let's confirm that works inspect okay so you can see the ID over there I mean you can see the the class <clears throat> selector so a dot contact us let's confirm that no oh it's an ID that's why look at me that's nice a contact us I hope you guys can see what I'm doing 
right there. That's where I got it from. Okay, so I'm going to take this and then X that so I'm gonna run this test so because I don't want to like write everything again I'm just gonna copy this over here change that and then I'm gonna say uh, Click in contact us button. Contact contact us button. So we need to go to the the URL for that is that. Okay, beautiful. So let's see if it works. Let's play that. Yes, we passed all three tests. Awesome. So I'm not going to like do the other two because it's the same method. Next, in the, in the next video, I'm going to show you that how to uh, click the Google login and for it to give you the Google OAuth flow of all the different accounts.